the purpose of our show that is called Jay de Feo, The Ripple Effect, and featuring 11 artists, more contemporary, who are Trisha Donnelly, Sam Falls, Rachel Harrison, Wyatt Ken, Ron Nagel, Gay Outlaw, Tobias Pills, Rebecca Quaitman, Hugo Rondinone, Bosco Sodi, and Oscar Twazen. So Sundak and me, we, we decided to uh, introduce uh, many works, many different types of work by Jay De Feo, including paintings, drawing, collage, photos, uh, studio photos, and to mix these works with um, 11 artists that I quote the names and ask them to react and to propose either existing works by them or new works specifically created for the show. And this show, these works were displayed by Sundak and myself uh, with, uh, by, room by room with uh, the Jay De Feo's work. So it's a confrontation between generation of artists, between artists that some are coming from the States, some are coming from Europe, uh, and the, the, with different type of material, but what uh, make us selecting them is because through some interview, some of these artists said, uh, quote Jay De Feo's work as a, not necessarily an influence, but an artist that they like the work, some even collect a, a work, and there's a sort of proximity. So the work they decided to send for that show are as much close to Jay De Feo's work in some way, dealing with the material, with the composition, with different technique. In the show, we have the ceramics, we have uh, paintings, we have this, the big wall behind us by Hugo Rondinone, it's a huge piece. Facing uh, this wall, you have two uh, sort of monochrome materialistic painting by uh, Mexican artist Bosco Sodi. So it's a dialogue. And these two, for instance, these two artists' work are in relation to the large painting of Jay De Feo in this big room. So the, the, the show has been built like this with a, it's a dialogue. When we do show together with Sundak, we used to dialogue, we used to talk together, and we often used to uh, establish the same kind of dialogue between the artwork as the dialogue we established between ourselves to build shows. Jay Dufeo is a, a woman American artist who was born in 1929. Uh, born in Hanover, New Hampshire, uh, but she moved to um, the San Francisco Bay Area uh, when she was young, and um, she spent all her life in Bay Area, and often she's associated uh, with the uh, Peach Generation, but she really cannot be categorized any uh, one single uh, movement because she's constantly experimenting with a different uh, material and she just go on and on experimenting many different medium and she was into also photography very intensely and collage, photocopy and all this. So we cannot categorize in one uh, movement. It is very important to see her work as a whole. The Rose is her iconic piece and she's mostly known with this piece. However, she's um, quite overshadowed by, uh, by this piece. She's only known for this. However, she's been uh, working even 10 years before uh, amazing work and after this piece uh, rose after uh, eight years uh, she's produced uh, 20 years amazing work until her death uh, 1989. She uh, spent eight years to produce uh, this painting. This is basically um, oil painting. Uh, she built it up this paint until it became so big and she cannot go and she has to leave the apartment. We asked Oscar Twerzon because we think there's a proximity in the use of material, the use of composition, found object and, and recycling uh, pieces, uh, existing pieces of wood or something. He was 
fascinated by the story that Sunak was telling about when the rose, when they have to leave the apartment, when the rose was done, she has to cut the window and to, to, to bring the, the, the work out of the window. And so this is sort of the, the story of a, an artist whose work is bigger than the place. Uh, so they have to remove the wall to, to bring the, the, the piece out of the studio. And Toison wanted to do a, a piece that is related to this. So he couldn't finish the work he wanted to produce for the show, but he has been working on similar idea that is uh, like a window, like a part of the window, like uh, you know this kind of assemblage of different material, including glass, pieces of metal or wood or something like this. So the piece he sent for the show is uh, telling this story, is uh, uh, mentioning about the story of the rose and, and stuff, and is um, displayed in the room where there's a painting that is called Cabbage Rose. It's also in relation to this painting that she did before, the Cabbage Rose. You will see in the show a little pink cup and ceramic piece uh, by Ron Nagel after uh, Jay Dufay was diagnosed with a lung cancer, uh, 88. And she uh, threw out big birthday party, 60s birthday party, and the uh, Ron Nasal gave her this pink cup. During her lifetime, uh, she's been showing some galleries. Uh, she was uh, active in her own circle, but she really did not have a major attention. For example, uh, the rose uh, was shown only two times. This painting went to Pasadena Art Museum, and then uh, after that, uh, San Francisco Museum of Art, and then that's it. Lea Levy, who is the executive director at the J. DeFeo uh, Foundation, I think she was a, a key actor, really, to save this piece, uh, along with uh, David Ross and Lisa Phillips. And, and then it came to uh, our attention, uh, attention uh, to the, the uh, art field. And a lot of artists notice uh, Jay Dufeo uh, through this uh, rose. And then um, she became almost artist of the artist. The idea that is very American in some way, artist, artist, uh, les artistes pour les artistes, as we can translate into French, is, a, is an excuse for artists that are known but not famous. It's like we, we, we establish a, a hierarchy, but there's still a category of, they're not a loser, but they have an excuse. It's a woman, she's from California, and she's in California, she's not in LA, in Los Angeles, but in San Francisco. So with all this ingredient, it was almost impossible to become successful. And at the time where uh, the art is male, it's white and male and more New York. She, in a way, even if this category of artist, artist is a sort of ghetto, it's a way, it's a protection at the same time. So she was protected by the artist and she was protected after by the institution that she, she didn't create herself, but uh, Leah Levy and the other trustees of the foundation build up and try to reestablish a work within American context and now in Europe there was so she was in, included in the B generation exhibition at the Pompidou and there's some and there's some now European dealer uh, working with the foundation in order to spread the work and this occasion in Dijon at the consortium it's also and this dialogue between Jay de Fos work and artists and among the the 11 artists that I mentioned, uh, several work, we work with them, for instance, Trisha Donnelly, who worked several times since the Biennale in Lyon in 2003, uh, with Rachel Harrison, she, we worked two times, solo show and a group show, with Ron Nagel, he was included in a group show several years ago, Tobias Pills had a, uh, just the, the, the previous season, 
uh, with Michael Williams as a solo show, and Hugo Rondinone we did several times for the last 20 years, because the first show we did with Hugo was in 20 years ago, even 22 years ago, something like this. And Oscar Toison was also in, had a, a solo exhibition. So this is also the, the dialogue also with uh, our own history. Thank you.